So. Great. Hi, Bill. Is that you? Yeah, I talked to Common. He's in the room. He's going to put it on his speakerphone. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure. No, you're, you're all you're all on uh, right now on the uh, on this phone. It's working now. Wonderful. Okay, great. So um, the first thing that we'd like to do is uh, well, let's take a I Apologize for not yeah. being there. Okay. And thanks everyone for for joining us. Um, we'd like to ask someone in the room to volunteer to kind of um, manage the process physically and maybe give us a sense because it's not a video conference call of who needs to, who's, who's interested in saying things and call upon people. And if you can help uh, with that, if someone could volunteer. And we need a second volunteer to take minutes uh, from this meeting because Jeff is also not present. And um, uh, it probably is best for someone in the room to take minutes. That said, Johannes Epke is there and it, it help, will help. We'll also take minutes that can supplement those if we need more detail. So thank you, Johannes, for doing that. But if one of the commissioners... I'll, I'll volunteer for the, for the first volunteer spot. Uh, okay, and then we need, we need... Carmine? Yes, it's Carmen. Right. Okay, great. Thank you very much. And is there someone who will take minutes? I can take minutes. This is Joyce Sanchez. Hi, Joyce. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Okay, wonderful. Uh, well, the first uh, item on our agenda is to uh, approve the previous uh, meeting minutes. So, excuse me, uh, excuse me, comment? Bill. Yes. I think maybe we should take attendance first to see that we have a quorum. Okay, I mean, great. just say who's so, here. I mean, you're right. here. Bill Kilmartin's here. Carmen Gentile's here. George Sanchez is here. Just Jay, Jay Marsden here. Noble Alexander. Also Malone's here. Jeff Clement is on the phone. Oh, Constance. I'm on the phone. I'm sorry, I said here. Yeah. Okay, Constance is on the phone. So that's eight. Bill Kilmartin, Carmen Gentile, Joyce, Jay, Noble, Bopa, Jeff, and Costas. That's eight. So we have a quorum. Yep. All right. I'm sorry, go ahead. Great. So uh, are there any comments um, uh, or changes uh, to previous minutes or the previous meeting? Doesn't seem like any. Okay. Can we have a motion to approve? I move that we I approve. Motion to approve the minutes. Second. It's Bopa. Jay. And Jay Marsden seconded that. Aye. 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 Great. That sounded like eight ayes to me. Right. So, Bill, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, great. Do you want to talk about the second item? Uh, so, next we wanted to talk about uh, setting up the work groups. So, this is a follow-on from the discussion we had at the previous meeting. Let me do a sound check. Can you, you hear me okay? Common, those in the room? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, so, we talked about setting up three work groups. And in that regard, there were three course pieces of correspondence that we might consider. Um, as we have this discussion and come to a conclusion. Uh, so uh, one, one document that was sent out to folks in advance was a uh, little short document. It talked about a work group charter. And by that, it just mean a, a simple description of uh, what is the purpose of the work group, who's going to lead the work group, you know, what would be the nature of the work group, uh, reporting back to the full commission. Uh, and the purpose of that is to have a uh, memorialize a, uh, a mutual understanding of how these work groups are going to work and we can and vote upon that as a full commission and thus you know launch these work group efforts uh, a second piece of correspondence that was sent to folks in advance uh, came from jeff uh and that was some further guidance uh just to reiterate uh conversations that we had previously uh, how these are uh, working groups who are doing fact finding and research uh these are not official meetings of the commission, uh, and therefore uh, the activities of these working groups do not arise to the requirements of the open meeting law. 
So that's just additional guidance to keep in mind so that we stay uh, compliant within the parameters of uh, what we need to do. Uh, and then the third item is correspondence that cost us is taking a crack at, which is a starter set of who might be joining which work group, you know, based on previous conversations. Uh, so let me turn that one back to you to, you know, share so, your so thoughts. So, Bill, can I just interrupt you for a moment? Bill, process. Bill, it's Carmen. I just want to interrupt you for a moment. So I'm informed that the open meeting law requires that the person chairing the meeting be someone who is in the room now. So you had earlier asked for a volunteer to oversee things here in the room, so I think we just need to have, uh, have that person be chairing the meeting to satisfy the open meeting law. Well, uh, well let's get back to that. Good point. So uh, I would recommend that uh, Carmen take the role of temporary chair to chair this meeting. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, Carmen, you're officially chairman for the day. Okay. Thank you. I'll be uh, asking you for tips. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, hey, we're doing the best we can. You yeah. Know, so, yeah. So, so, Bill, uh, particular. if you could just continue before, you know, as you were, what you were saying before I interrupted you. Yep. So, you know, as, as we get into this topic of setting up our work group, which is really essential to our forward progress, you know, uh, CASAS has spent some time, you know, based on conversation and, and uh, previous uh, indications of who might be willing to serve on which work group. So I'll sort of turn it over to CASAS to take us through his thoughts. Uh, again, this is all on the lines of trying to set up these work groups. So I'll sort of pass it over to CASAS. Yeah, yeah. You would, Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so, Essentially, we had discussed uh, creating four committees or working groups. Um, one of them was around, broadly speaking, around the money and politics uh, questions. The other was around the question of corporations with artificial entities. And then we also discussed the communications group and a drafting committee. Uh, what we have done, um, largely on the basis of some conversations we've already had as a group and on um, people's backgrounds and experiences is more or less assigned um, committees, uh, people to each of these committees uh, that they have either expressed interest in serving on or that it makes sense to us. Now, this is not um, etched in stone anywhere, uh, but we try to keep the commitment uh, as balanced as possible and to uh, leverage people's expertise as it was um, evident to us based on your experiences. So we, uh, Kate, we took a crack at creating the money and politics group, the corporations group, and the communications group. Uh, but we left for now the drafting uh, committee uh, unassigned with the thought that um, that might, it might become uh, more obvious later what needs to be done there and that those individuals uh, at this point uh, you know, may not necessarily have much to draft and so it could be helpful on some of these other um, committees as we explore the uh, data gathering phases of our uh, work here. So, uh, Bill, um, you circulated the proposed appointments, is that right? Uh, I don't think I sent the document that had the names on it. Is that the document to which I, you know, I haven't received yes. anything. Yes. I haven't received Yeah, maybe you could send it around now. Also, okay. Costas and Bill, yeah. I'm not sure if you've been receiving messages, but um, Nico, mm -hmm. Carol, and Jennifer are using your number and the code, and they're not able to get in or get on. Uh, Cheryl's on. Cheryl's on? Right. I was so able to get in. Mm -hmm. So Nico just sent a message, and Jennifer... And Scott, they can't get in because the bridge is full, it says. Okay. Forward. So I'm not sure what we can do about that. That sounds like a Framingham State issue because... Um, well, you know, we could, have, sure we could have... I mean, we could have each of them call one of the cell phones here and put, put it on speaker, and that way we'd be able to... Why don't we try that? Why don't... Uh, let's see, who, who's, who doesn't have... Who doesn't have access right now? 
Nico. Nico is one of them. Okay, so Nico, why don't what, what is, uh, why, why don't we have Nico call me, and I'll put it on speakerphone. My number is 508-380-60. Uh, is someone, uh, is someone emailing him? Okay, I'll, I'll take care, I'll, I'll email Nico. So, okay. uh, what's the number, Carmen? 508-380-60. Six zero nine seven. Six zero nine seven. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, Jennifer is the second person. So do we have a number for her? Yeah, you can give her mine. It's uh, six one seven three zero six one five seven two. Yeah, Novel's going to give you one. Hang on. Okay. 508-816-8868. Great. So I've emailed all those individuals, and hopefully they'll get the email and try and try it again. Okay, so I think if... Uh, as people call in, we'll, we'll recognize them. Um, so, Bill, can you tell me, uh, did you have some specific people in mind for the money and elections ballot initiatives uh, um, committee? Yes. yes and January. Let, me, let me just go ahead, and uh, we didn't circulate this in advance, but here's what we've got for the money and politics group. But before I just rattle off these names, let me just say that uh, even if someone's not specifically assigned to a group, it doesn't mean that they can't either formally or informally be involved or participate. Our sense is that all commissioners will be interested in all of these groups. It's just a matter of um, dividing up the labor in such a way that makes sense and making people kind of primarily um, be responsible for certain aspects of this work or, or to focus everyone's energy. But under no um, circumstances do we expect that if you're in one of these groups that there's absolutely no way to get involved in what the other group is doing, even in the um, meetings and sessions and research that, uh, that these groups hold. We do have to be somewhat careful that these groups don't get so large that they trigger the open meeting requirements, um, even for the um, committee. Okay. So we, we tried to keep that in mind. So money and politics, we've got um, no Noble, Jeff Clements, uh, Carmine, Matthew McKnight, Dominic, uh, and, and Bill and I are sort of ex officio on, on, on all of these, but those are the um, individuals on that one. We've got uh, Nick. What about on the Corporations Michael. and Entities, the Corporations and Entities Committee? Yeah, so uh, Nicholas, Michael, Scott, and Jennifer on the Corporations and Entities. And then uh, Communications, Cheryl, Bopa, Jay and Joyce. Okay, and then we're no, nothing right now on the uh, on the fourth committee, the communication and right. public outreach. We thought we'd focus people's energy first on kind of doing the bulk of the data gathering work and the research and 